2019. How you guys doing? How you living? Your girl's doing good. It's dumb early in the morning. It's about like 7.30, so it's dark. Sorry about the lighting. And I am up and ready to go. There is so much to do today. Um, mm, there's so much to do today. So I am sending out my save the dates. And I'm so excited about them. I told you guys last week in the last vlog that I was going to show you guys what they look like. I purchased them from Minted dot com um they're a little big i felt like i should have gotten them just a little bit smaller the dress that i'm wearing is rose gold i don't know if you guys can tell where this line is right here is actually glitter and um like foiled paper so it's really pretty it kind of matches the dress that i'm wearing in the picture and on the bottom it says save our date i'm covering the date and the location because the save the dates are not out yet and I don't want it to be online before my family and friends get to see it. Um, and on the back, we have um, this text from 1 Corinthians 13. My fingernail is broken. Um, 13 verses 4 through 8. I also got some customized um, stamps. Basically, you can add a picture. Ah, hold on, it's trying to focus on me. You can add a picture to... You know the stamp I think that's so so cool I decided to do black and white instead of color so yeah and then I decided to put our hashtag inside the stamp so people can see what our hat our wedding hashtag is so yeah guys that's what your girl is working on now are you ready to say hi to my subscribers let's make it happen yeah let's make it happen why not Ooh, this mascara is like burning my eyes my eyes are like sensitive all of a sudden hey guys Today, I don't even know what the day is. February 3rd. It's a Sunday. Oh, my eye is like killing me. Is it red? Ooh. So guys, I realize I haven't officially, officially so, yeah. <laughs> introduced you. Are you done now? Are you done? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh gosh, okay. Babe, say hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> So this is Josh, you know. So Josh, subscribers, subscribers, hey. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's official. You guys have the have had the official introduction. This is kind of big for me right now. I'm gonna fix this because you're not gonna have me out here looking crazy. So we're in the city right now. I will show you. There it is. And we are headed to Brooklyn. Because babe is going to meet my godmother. So this should be really interesting. I was blessed with a good godmother. I know some people don't talk to their godmothers anymore or not, but I definitely have a, a good current relationship with her and she was like very um, influential in terms of my childhood. So this is <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is kind of big. So, hopefully it'll be a good meeting. It's gonna be. It's gonna it's be. It's gonna be a good it's meeting. What up, guys? Your girl made it home. Finally, I felt like this trip was so long. Checked the mail and my save the dates came in patricia you already showed us save the dates earlier in the vlog well your girl ran out yes we ran out of save the dates so we had more people to invite i'm gonna cover this up but because the other ones were super expensive so i had to come up with like a cheaper option that kind of looked like the other one that we had so i didn't get the glitter or the foiled paper the foiled glittery stuff on there i got this one and it's smaller you guys can see that it says patricia and joshua are getting married save the date um and that is in the foiled letters but that's all that i got i didn't get the glitter and then my date location on the bottom it says invitation invitations to follow so i got 25 of those hopefully that'll be enough if it's not oh well anyway i spent the afternoon uh once i got home hanging out with brian hanging out with my dad hanging out with the dogs y'all i have to tell you the story 
something that happened to Levi, and but I will. I'll tell you guys tomorrow. I need to relax for the night, and um, yes, we'll reconvene tomorrow. It is Valentine's Day, February 14th. Sorry guys, I got interrupted by a phone call. I'm on the road now, headed to Union Station in Washington, D.C., and um, I'll be headed to Newark from there. And um, Joshua will meet me there. I made it to Jersey. And um, Babe went inside to go get um, his suit, I guess, from the dry cleaners. I guess he's wearing it tonight. It's going to be a good night. Yeah. 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 She my Jeep seeker, she something to myself. She wants the wine, she be money on my best. She looking on my eye order. She wants the wine, she be moving so quick. You never see her coming. She wants the wine, she on me head. Yeah, not so uh. say she wants to see one what up y'all happy friday it is friday february 15th and your girl is back in maryland just got off, off just got off of the train the trip wasn't really bad this time um around your girl has just been on the move um it made more sense for me to come up for valentine's day than it did for josh to come down and because it's our like first really official Valentine's Day together, um, we really wanted to make it special. And all the ones that are to come as well. This next week, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, my birthday is in exactly, I believe, nine days now. Um, so there's a big plan for that. I'm, ex I'm celebrating back home in New York. Um, so that should be fun. My cousins, my, I got a friend flying in, my friends in town, everything are all gonna come out and celebrate my 30th birthday. Can y'all believe 30th birthday? So I'm super excited about that. It's gonna be fun. There's an itinerary for the whole weekend. So it should be fun. I don't know I wanna vlog guys, but I also really wanna enjoy the experience. So. I don't know how much of it I will be able to vlog. I probably will vlog. I probably, probably will vlog. What up, guys? Happy Saturday. It is February 16th. My cousin's birthday, I believe, actually. I didn't even call him. Anyway, sorry, the hair is a hot mess. I washed it last night. Put it in ponytail, but whatever. Um, I am about to work out. <sighs> um, so I'm going to go downstairs where um, my parents had their little gym situation i usually go to my gym but i'm actually going to cancel that membership because i have equipment here and i might as well utilize what i have and save my coins you know um with me saving up for the wedding um that's a small cost that i can sort of take away what up guys happy wednesday happy hump day y'all how you doing how you living how you feeling Hope you guys are doing well. Um, this part of the vlog, I initially intended on it being a separate vlog altogether, but decided last minute not to do that because I didn't have as much footage as I was hoping to have. Happy belated birthday to me. Your girl turned 30, y'all. And I celebrated in New York City, and it was so, so fun um i was there from last thursday to uh monday this past monday and i had a whole itinerary and everything y'all wrote up a whole itinerary because your girl is just crazy like that and this is what it is so i got up there on thursday what up guys today is february almost like uh, 21st 2019 Hello. How y'all living? So we are headed to New York City, my very favorite place in the whole wide No, it's actually not true. Is it true? I don't know. You said it is true? The one of your favorite One of my very favorite places in the whole wide world. Lisi is right here. She's beating the face, doing a little quick beat. Um, and then Brian is right here. Driving. Hold on, do that again. Let's see. There we go. 
he's driving and he's taking us to um, Baltimore. Baltimore. To <laughs> Baltimore to have big fun. And you're down in Baltimore having big fun. Oh, Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Baltimore. Bald. Brian is from Bald. Baltimore. Okay, I got it. To see the wretched. Was it the wretched? Yes. Mm -hmm. To see the wretched and have That's big fun. fun. Baltimore, Maryland, with the wretched to have big fun. Big fun. My Cosby Show fanatics will remember that episode. Y'all remember that episode? Anyway. Um. So we're headed to Baltimore with the D, and um, from there we're gonna go to New York. So um, it's my birthday. Well, Sunday is my birthday, the 24th, and um, I'm turning <laughs> 30. I don't know how I feel about it right now, but it's, it's coming. So these are the last few days that I have in my 20s, and um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So. The weekend is going to be fun. Let's let's go over the weekend. So Thursday, which is today, we're headed to New York. We're going to get there around like two something. We're going to check in at three. And then from there, Alice and I are probably going to find either like um, a place where we can buy some snacks. There's actually a Dollar Tree around the corner. Let me see. Some snacks and stuff like that so we can put in in the house we might get like um, like an early dinner or something like that then my friend Abby comes into town um, she's flying in from Alabama she probably will arrive like around 5:30. we might wait for her before we eat 5 30 or so and then tonight we have a twerk class so it's gonna be um, the four of us now my friend Erica is gonna be joining us for the class it's gonna be a private in-home class so I'm excited about that and hopefully we'll have the snacks and the drinks and everything like that and then after the class we'll just recover probably chat and then sleep and then Friday which is tomorrow we're spending the day at spa castle which is like um, one of those like all-inclusive spa places sauna massages facial um, hot tub uh, things like that just some serene music there's a bar in there everything and we'll just spend a few hours there relaxing and then we'll have a game night after that it'll be a good weekend I'm so so excited Okay, so we have room number one, single room, beautiful, okay, room number two, you got a big bed with a view. Oh, the heat feels great. Towels and washcloths. A big fun. <laughs> another room here. Okay. Another room. This one will be room three. And then another room. You said this is my room? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and there's a bathroom here. Is there one bathroom or is there two? Um, there's one. <laughs> it's only negative about this space. There's only one bathroom. Oh, and this nice little lounge area. Table. Oh, they have snacks. Cups. <laughs> Just <laughs> tripped. Ah, uh, what up, guys? You girls are just relaxing, um, talking about life and future plans. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so the sun is starting to set, 
and we just got real comfortable. We were gonna go out to eat, but I think we might just order in and have footprints deliver. If you guys are ever in Brooklyn and you like, um, I guess West Indian inspired food, um, you gotta go to Footprints and get the Rasta pasta, okay? Rasta pasta, you'll thank us later. We typically get the, not typically, we get the tofu version of it. They do fried tofu instead of meat, but you can get, I believe you can get jerk chicken on it mm -hmm. or fish, steak. I feel like one of those. You can get meat. All the things we don't get. All the things we don't get. We get the tofu and it's so good. They have other typical um, sort of West Indian foods, but we like footprints and they are known for their rasta pasta. So there's one like right around the corner from here. So we're probably just going to get them to deliver here um, once Abby gets here. And then we have our twerk class tonight so that should be fun yeah guys i don't know if i can record this work class i don't know maybe i could somehow put the camera in the corner or something like that um but yeah looking forward to it because um yeah it should be really fun right yes, yes. yes. It's all you all you right yeah, yeah we gotta get, get up Give her at least one good one. Two times for the birthday, birthday, yes, 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 yes. Yes. birthday, birthday, birthday. So make sure that you whip out just a little bit and pop it a little bit. to choose or to see what the food is like. I've got my coffee for now. I feel the type of way that these mugs are like random mugs they found at the dollar store. They don't even match. Look, the gas is mug. And it's not like my like like <laughs> But it's cool though. What up guys? So we are back from brunch and um, we just spent, we just chilled for a little bit. Now we're headed to Spa Castle for uh you know a day at the spa we'll spend a few hours there get some massages hang out by um or at the sauna maybe a pool maybe a hot tub or two and um forget about life's worries that's 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 the goal that's the goal so we're getting ready to leave um alice is putting in for the lift now and uh, is he outside no. Oh. So, okay, so we have a little bit of time. There's Abby right there. Yes. Is that the people? It is. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, y'all. It's been a minute since y'all see me, but I'm here, honey. Go back to. We gotta, we gotta figure what episodes I'm on. I'm, I'm up in there. I've been here. Okay. I'm a real one. I'm a true one. I've been here. Yes. Be here. All yes. Right. Right, we got some real things going on this year. Yeah. Okay. If I do my Instagram handle, I'll tell you, but I don't remember what it is. I'll put it on the no, screen. No. You know how I do. <laughs> she said, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, y'all. Thursday night. Um, we did a twerk class by this company called Stripper Tees and um yeah y'all it was a ton of fun it was four of us girls there the first night and it was so much fun you guys we had a personal instructor that came to the airbnb and her name was jessica and jessica had all the moves y'all had all the moves jessica's a former stripper uh turned instructor and um she made sure we had a good time her personality was just i loved it and um we laughed a lot and we have a good time we had a good 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 time toward the end um toward the end she had everybody give me a little birthday dance little birthday show so that was cute we just all had fun guys it was just a fun thing if you guys haven't done it before 
I think that every woman should, unless you're uncomfortable and if you aren't, that's okay. But I think that every woman should uh, take a, you know, um, a risque class. Um, I think some of us, um, you know, don't embrace that side of us, right? I think there's something super empowering about um, loving your body, owning your body, and realizing that you are beautiful, you are attractive, um, and what you have is valuable. And so I have, as you guys know, I've taken several um, pole dancing classes in the past, not to mention they're just good exercise. You would think that the twerk class wouldn't be good. Y'all, my thighs were burning the next day. Um, but yeah, I, rec I recommend everybody do those, um, stripper tees if you're in New York City or LA, um, they have that company out there and you can choose to have a private class in your home. All you have to do is pay a travel fee and to me the travel fee was really reasonable. I guess the instructor didn't live too far from where our Airbnb was, but I, it was in, in a very comfortable space and because it was kind of like a birthday party or a birthday gathering, it kind of made it more intimate as opposed to sharing the class with other people. Um, then on Friday was spa day. So spa day, we went up to spa castle in Queens and it's kind of like, what's that big one in Atlanta world spa. There's one in Atlanta that's kind of like spa castle. You will pay an admission fee and you have access to the saunas, the pools, heated pools, chilled pools. Um, there's also like a bar, there's a juice bar, there's a, you know, a buffet. Well, not really a buffet, but um, like there's food being served. Um, there's like sleep areas where you can sleep. Um, and there's also places where you can get massages, hand massages, feet massages, back massages, facials. I mean, the works. Um, it's definitely a very um, interesting place if you haven't been to a spa like that. Um, it, there is nudity. <laughs> I will forewarn you that those of you who haven't been to Spa Castle um, or a, a, a spa like that. But it's very, very free. It's very, very empowering. It was hilarious. I, I warned my sister there was going to be some nudity. But she was totally weirded out when she saw everybody's boobs and parts and whatnot. But... It was just funny at the end of it. She was like, Oh my gosh, this is so like empowering to just walk around naked. Have you guys ever been to a spa like that? What's the one in Atlanta called? I know they're everywhere, but they're, they're that one is like particular. That's in my mind because that's the first one I've ever heard of that was like that. Um, so yeah, there's Spa Castle. I spent a ton of money in there. I did an organic, um, facial peel I did um because you pay an admission fee that gives you access to you know your lockers and everything like that um can't bring your phones in there obviously people's you know naked um gives you access to you know everything except for the services you have to pay extra for the services so I paid for a facial paid for um massage and it was just so funny that my masseuse she was having a hard time with me. She was like, honey, first of all, how often do you get this done? You need to get it done. She's like, you are so tense. My missus is doing all sorts of acrobatics. She was basically um, trying to gain momentum, use momentum off of the wall using her foot just to give herself a little bit more power to detense me to the point where she went and got um, the hot stones, the healing stones. And she was like, girl, you need this like no extra charge because the healing stones were like an extra fifty dollars she's like no extra charge like you need healing stones <laughs> and it's interesting because before i walked into the spa i told i turned to my sister i turned to my friend abby and i said i am walking into the spa with all 30 years worth of stress all 30 years worth of pain all 30 years worth of um blockage and i'm letting it out i'm letting it out of the spot homegirl felt it she felt that energy you hear me and i uh, there was a moment where i actually went in this in the sauna and in the sauna 
when I tell you I just went ahead and had a full-blown meditation session in the sun I'm like I'm about to sweat out all of last year's last few years last five years less 30 years of everything that's not I'm sweating it all out everything that's not serving me um so I have my little meditation have my little birthday prayer with God and um yeah it was just what I needed and it was also 181 degrees in there so whether I wanted to do it or not it was coming out so the next day we went to church and then after that we went um out to eat at this place called suede um suede is it's it's, it's a nice it's a cool spot in Brooklyn very cool spot in Brooklyn it's where I met Angela Yee from the Be breakfast club a few years ago when I was out there I was at out, out at suede with Ghana goddess, Miss Ghana goddess, Michelle here on YouTube, girl. I feel like me and Michelle have been playing some mean phone tag. Then Saturday night we went to this place called the Katra Lounge. Definitely a good time. I saw some people I recognized that I used to work with, which was interesting. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. That is definitely a cool um spot i thought it was gonna be more loungy because i've never been there before to me it was a little more clammy but you know. qualifications for a lounge is if i have to dress up if i have to wear heels then it's not a lounge if i have to um get bottle service to have a seat then it's not a lounge it's the only gripe that i had about it and then sunday was my actual birthday and we went to PS 450 and uh, we had brunch there and it was my two cousins, Joshua, Alice, my cousins Alicia and File, Joshua, Alice, uh, my friend Abby, and then, and Shanta. Shanta is my subby turned friend. She came out and she supported me. <laughs> And help to celebrate my birthday and yeah y'all yeah i feel like i'm oh this had this been crooked the whole time my bad y'all i did a lot of reflection on my birthday i usually tell you i think i told you guys that sometimes my birth not sometimes a lot of times my birthday it's a very sad time for me. I get birthday blues because I'm like, dang, you're not where you're supposed to be at. Like, how long is it going to take you to accomplish this and that? And um, this is what's going on in your life that's not ideal and all these things. But um, this one wasn't a bad one. Definitely wasn't a bad one. I think I spent more time focusing on the positive and sort of what's ahead and how this year is going to bring about so much change for me. Um, I'm getting married. 30 is the year that I will be married. And, um, so that's going to be, that's a big year. That's a big year for me. So talk about major life change, entering a new decade and getting married in the same year. It's just crazy. Um, but one thing I learned is, um, sometimes I can focus on the negative when it comes to reflecting. And when I say negative, it's like things that I haven't done yet. That's what trips me up, um, the most that I am not doing this yet, or I'm not fully independent in this area yet. Um, but what I have learned about me is I am a risk taker. I love to take chances. I love to put myself in a situation where I'm uncomfortable. Um, I love to try new things. I love starting over. And I love um, inspiring people. And if there's anything that you, you know, if there's anything that I want you really to get, um, there's many things I really want you to get <laughs> from my videos, but I hope I inspire you to take chances to um give it your all to be open to change and to be yourself no matter what to be you and to be you freely 
I hope those messages resonate with you and those come across to you through um, my vlogs and my other videos. I actually think that's a good way to end the vlog. <laughs> um, before I get too emotional, I got time for that. Y'all see these, these flowers, y'all? These dusty flowers. So Joshua got me those flowers, but I have this thing where I don't throw away the old flowers until I get new ones from him. So I'm waiting on my new flowers. These been dusty and crusty. I'm spoiled, y'all. Don't mind me. Anyway, I love you guys so, 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 so much. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. And I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully next week. Same time next week. I'll see you then.